Hey guys, how you doing everybody? Welcome to Dr. Crypto. I'm back with Bitcoin price analysis, of course, and I will be taking a look at, of course, longer and shorter time frame of the Bitcoin. We have a lot, a little bit exciting day. We will talk about it. We'll see if, to my opinion, Bitcoin will be pumping from here, dumping from here. So make sure you stick to until the end. And of course, if you enjoy the video, make sure you like the video. And if you want to support the channel, just subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask. And of course, it's for free. So guys i am currently taking a look at the weekly price action of bitcoin there are a lot to talk about right but i was taking a look at a look at the comparison between the previous dip and this dip of course this dip is bigger you um, i mean but there is just a similarity came to my mind it might not be really important really but i would like to mention it. for example you see we got the same candle last week as this candle right in here and the next one was exactly the same as what is happening right now the difference was only we went to the lower price target guys there is only one thing i want to mention in weekly of course in weekly we are still uh bullish why is that i'll tell you because we are still above the ribbons and above most of the important uh moving averages you see we are all of them are still in tag 200 150 20 we just drop below 20 of course it's going to be a little bit hard to get above it but the bearish and beer market means when we are actually below all of them basically and all cross each other but still in the weekly we are not looking bad let me tell you this and this is only in the weekly and above weekly we are still i mean the if you and daily and under daily we will be taking a look at so we are we are pretty much bearish now guys what i believe let me just remove this line what i believe is that i think i mean we're going to see where it goes but uh, we were dropping we haven't hit this uh, 50 ema uh, this moving average as you see in the previous beer long beer market we had like two months we, we went in this beer market right look 50 moving average was uh, the, mo the most important probably you see how we got a lot of support in this area when we were actually dropping you know we had some of the risk under it but eventually we got support and we were preparing for the next leg up which has happened right this is one thing we haven't hit this one yet to my opinion to my opinion you know i'm in the favor of the crypto and i'm a bullish guy but to my opinion probably probably we are still not ready for a real pump to the upside of course today we were pumping a little bit but 1000 2000 guys like coming from 57000 to 59000 even 50000 is not a big of a deal you know we want a big daily candle we will we'll get there right and let's move to the daily daily how daily looks actually sorry if it's a little bit crawling here these lines because i'm also trading short time frames so look the most important line if you're following me you know make sure you follow me in the, uh, in twitter we could stay in touch there because twitter is much easier just to post uh, just to tweet you know and in the comments we can have some chats but in making youtube video it has a little bit it needs a little bit of a fort and time now guys of course this line which started to support us from all the way 29,000 then we retested it from uh, like 40,000 we got a bounce back up to 4 to 69,000 making new all-time high and we broke under it this probably in every channel your favorite youtube channel you're following everybody's talking about it bullish or bearish they are talking about unfortunately if you see we have this cross of the emas now let me tell you one thing of course I'm not looking so much for short EMAs when I'm talking, when I'm making video for you guys. Of course, 7, 8, 9, these EMAs you can take a look at, but I'm looking from 20 and above. 20, 50, 100, 200, as you see, to my opinion, are quite important. Now, of course, we had a cross of 20 through 50 and 100, but let's say that's not a big of a deal yet. But the, the problem is about to happen if we not pump then 50 gonna be crossing 100 which could be a sell signal and um, that's gonna push us probably uh, more toward the downside we have to stay and see we're still they are still intact and cross didn't happen yet but i'm just trying to bring you some ideas i'm not telling you sell. i haven't sold a single dollar yet 
I'm not here to tell you that turn bearish. I'm not. I mean, short term, of course, if you are trader, if you are looking at the chart short term, you are bearish. But longer term, we are not bearish. And if I'm here talking about the bearish scenarios, I just want to give you the ideas that these are the possibilities. Because if it goes up, all of us are going to be happy. You're going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. Our bag's going to be green and everything portfolio is going up. But that's not a big deal at the moment. We are all worried that are we still, do we have still the possibility to go to the, for the lower price? That's what I'm looking at. And of course, please guys, share your ideas in the comment down below with me. I really appreciate that because my ideas are my ideas. Of course, are not financial advice and your ideas also could be valuable. You might bring me, bring me up with something that I really might consider and change my view. So uh, please, of course, don't get excited with watching my video or anybody else's video. And uh, do your own research and share your ideas with me. I appreciate that. Now, guys, of course, this isn't daily, right? That's why we are bearish. Why we are bearish? Because we are under this important trend line, first of all, if you are into lines. And if you want to see this moving averages, yes, we are again under even 200. You know, if it keeps going and we don't claim the 200 and come back above it, then, guys, it's going to get I mean, It's not bad to move sideways so we can at least keep this moving averages not to drop sharply and cross each other. But still, I mean, if it's going to be going uh, toward to the downside, then it's not that nice. The other things I, ha I have to bring to your attention, maybe I have to uh, we can also take a look at four hours, but this is the beer flag that taking. For example, when we drop in here, we had a little bit of the we had a, we had a beer flag in here. We drop, and now it could be, potentially could be another beer beer flag taking form for lower price target. Is the problem is guys, I cannot tell you that this is exactly the bottom that we may, unless we start pumping, unless we come back and claim support above this 200, 100 or whatever, then we can say this probably like here was the bottom. Do you see the pump in here, how strong it was? These are the daily candles. You see how strong this is? How, this is when exactly we can say, okay, we are done. If I see, for example, daily candles bringing us up in here, even though it could be still a bull trap, but we could say then as a bullish guy, if you are, and if I am, then we can say this was the bottom. But at the moment, nothing has happened, guys. Nothing has happened. And that's what I'm telling you. 1,000 up and down doesn't really change the fact. So, uh, yeah, this could be another beer flag which could push us more toward the downside. I can show it to you also in the four hours time frame. Also, uh, you look at this. This was a beer flag, then sharp drop to 2,000, and other one taking form in here. Guys, seriously do not take any action watching my video or anybody else's video if you think oh yeah this this guy's what this guy is saying makes sense let me go ahead and sell my bags that's absolutely a disaster and you are wrong you have to think about your situation how 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 like if you are able to throw out through uh, live through a beer market if potentially that happens you know you have you shouldn't i mean anything is possible and i believe in manipulation if you're following me i talked a lot about the manipulation i told you guys in this downside is probably manipulation and we are this 69 shouldn't be the top of the market but but we shouldn't be obsessed with our either beliefs or feelings we have to give the chance also to the other side to the beers which they they are saying 69 was the top and i mean that could be a possibility that could be a possibility considering all of this happening in the world with evergrande in china with omicron this new um, uh, corona uh, generation coming all of this i mean we have to a little bit think okay i haven't sold i mean it's not uh, i hope you are not in loss i hope you bought much cheaper than the prices are today but still now guys uh you know i i think you get me i think you get me but uh let's move on now this is the four hours what has happened i had this uh, i showed you also to my, my previous video i had this uh, kind of let's say triangle that from uh 57,000 all the way down i said i mean this is not something that i was said oh it's incredibly well we didn't have so much touch up or down we had a little bit down in here we had one up in here and of course eventually we broke it to it this is a good news but guys i am i mean sick and tired of the bullish pattern taking form during the beer market short-term beer market whatever because they usually don't hit their target for example i had a bull flag i shared with you in my twitter uh, uh yes yesterday and it broke up 
but the target was 49,250. It broke up, but it didn't meet its target. It just started going down in the midway. You know, they play out, they play out, but they don't really play out as the way they should. Yeah, we have this nice candle. Of course, you know what's happening because of the news coming from United States. I mean, the uh, their uh, from their finance department, all this stuff. I know, but uh, yeah, of course. Uh, remember, there is always something says uh, by the rumors of the news. You know, so the, the, we shouldn't be deciding uh, based on some. I mean, I'm 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 going through charts. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, of course, it can give us some big candle, which is. Could be unexpected but as you see guys again at the same line we got this bounce back even though it was it was accompanied with this news okay but again at the same line it, it uh, pushed us up again so uh still it, it it fit the chart no one can say this was unexpected yes it was totally expected i have the line in here the support line we had a lot of bounce back up and this was another one so not a problem no guys of course, in four hours, let me just go to the shorter time frame. Let me put up one hour, yeah? This channel I'll be looking at uh, is a descending channel, which is usually has uh, bullish bias. It usually break up, but I'm telling you, we are in a beer market, not in weekly, in a short time frame. When we are in the beer market, guys, I do not expect, like this pattern, this simple pattern target is how much? If we measure the target, is something like that. I mean, let's let's say in this area, forty nine thousand six hundred at least is the target of this pattern. But will we hit there? Maybe. But when we are in the beer market, usually, as my experience tells, my experience. This is something totally based on experience. Okay, my experience says that usually we we actually it happens that we most often break them up because it's like it's falling, so it's bullish. So we break up usually, even though we failed hugely in here but they don't meet the target they don't go all the way up in here they got like for example go until here sometimes have a quick whisk up in here and coming back down you know it happened yesterday in these areas when i was like you know now guys what i want to tell you i want to move to 15 minutes to see more candles so it's just nicer so uh yeah as you can see guys uh forget about this uh channel but this big line that we supported us down in here, guys, if we break this, this is going to be a little bit problematic or more than a little bit. Because if we break this pattern, I don't want to measure this uh, whole uh, tri triangle to get the target because that's going to be 130,000. Okay, that's so much like... Uh, big uh, move. I uh, don't want to tell. Yes, of course, that's the eventual pattern if you are bearish. And you say 69 was a top, yes, 30,000 30, is, of course, within the reach. But uh, what I'm saying, guys, if we break eventually, look how many touch we have had here. If we break in here, if we break in here, guys, then, yeah, we might be seeing 40, 41, or whatever you might call it. Or, based on the weekly 50 MA, 43 at least going to be, if we break. And we, of course, get volume down. Not like this one. Look, we had a risk here. We had this one weeks down. So if we break, volume jumps in. Yes, 41 to 43,000 is probably the target that we will definitely see. If we go up, guys, going up is now much harder than going down. Okay, because all of the fear in the market, all of this, you know, fear. I just checked the fear index, fear and greed. It was like 29, I guess, and it's fear. So, you know, so I believe now you want to know my opinion of course every trader you ask will give you reason for going up will give you reason for going down will give you reason for going sideways that is just if you know that's because tra trading i open i short and long the market sometimes even though i'm not 100 percent sure but my trading experience and knowledge tells me that this is more toward upside than downside for example when i long it okay so guys, what I think will happen, not necessarily you should think the same. Let me know in the comment down below if you think. I think we, even if we break up, let's say, okay, eventually we will come back for the full test of this breakout in this channel, in this area. And we might get a bounce for a little, but I again believe, I'm sorry if you are really bullish, I don't want to, I mean, it might go up just don't trust me 
this is my idea i think we're going to be uh, breaking back inside this triangle and at the moment i'm recording this video i'm more bearish than bullish so i think it's gonna the breakout will happen i'm just uh, the, uh, with uh, manipulation is a lot in the market i totally understand that whales are playing with us i totally understand that but i think i think it's still early for the pump to come even though december even though we are going to the next year four year cycle is about to end and whatever but guys i mean history tends to repeat but it not obliged to repeat let's say okay so uh i'm to our beery side because in the macd level also we have a high a lower high and this could be an other lower high yes if we start to claim go above in this one go above this one then probably we come all the way up to fifty five thousand. and i totally expect a bounce even if it's not going to take us to the all-time high even if it's a fake bounce, a dead cat bounce, it will come. It will come. And I think that's going to be, even if we hit to 40,000, I think that bounce is going to be around fifty to $55,000. Okay, we can talk about it. This video already been recorded for 16 minutes. So I might talk about that in another video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like, turn on the notification bell. So you will be notified whenever I post video so guys that's my opinion i think we're going to break down even if we go uh, temporary we go up i think we're going to break down i want to look uh, show you the bitcoin dominance that's why you are the guys this is the chart showing you how much is the bitcoin dominance in the market in overall and that is why look at this big dump on the big bitcoin dominance boom 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 that is why you see some of these altcoins some of these altcoins including errands my favorite altcoin i have the chart in here they are pumping against bitcoin and uh, errand is nice we love errands but little bit careful because you see i mean i think i saw some uh, uh, bearish uh, divergences and um, in a short time frame so we might have a little bit down movement in errand we'll see I am not here to talk about Iran now at the moment, but of course they had a little bit getting to the metaverse and this stuff, so it's uh, fired up a little bit for them. But careful in here, we already had nearly hundred dollars pumping around today. I think about forty percent pump was there. So, I mean, uh, uh, if you are trading, if you are long, if you are like, if you are trading, if you are, if you are holding, I mean, no, no talk about it. Okay, you are a hodler. Iran has a great community, I believe. And I always enjoy being in uh, Iran community. I mean, one of the most favorite community I have is Iran community. But if you are trading my talks to you, like be careful and don't be greedy. So it's a little bit, you know, especially Bitcoin does. And Bitcoin, I mean, looks it want to go up, but we are in the bear market. Remember, we are in a bear market, guys. And usually dumps happen when nobody expect them dxy was uh, i want to take a look quick look at dxy because dxy was dumping so hard and it oh it keeps dumping wow dxy so is back under the trend line wow i just i was following it until it was here so yeah so we have to see now about this line but it's a very good so good news for crypto but still it's a very good news for crypto if it breaks down in here and hopefully break this one so it's gonna be great news for crypto yeah guys so dxy is dumping that's a good sign for crypto and other risky market we'll see the most important is to break this line down uh thank you guys for watching uh, uh share with me your ideas in the comment down below uh and until the next time see you later